I don't know if I kind of need to radically restructure my play of Project Hospital, but I'm kind of skewing more towards a serial killer motif. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Project Hospital here in the awesome, healthy clinic for people who have boo-boos and have realized the potential profitability of pathology. So I'm checking in on Charles here. Charles has a high voltage burn. Apparently, we're going to do some thoracic trauma surgery to you. We're nodding wisely at you, as we do as doctors. Here's the thing, Charles. We're kind of adapting our mission statement. And what do you want, Jordan? What do you want? I'm trying to do a thing here. Where is Jordan? Oh, Jordan's the one who got the arrow in his head. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem for you. We should, um, we should remove that. Again, Jordan, you know what? Jordan, Charles, I'm going to have the same conversation with bo both of you. We're adapting our mission statement here at the Awesome Healthy Clinic for people who have boo-boos to downplay, if you will, the prolongation of life. It's not that it's not in our mission statement. It's just that the awesome healthy clinic for people who have boo-boos, maybe prolongation of life, curing your injuries, patient died. Jordan, here's the thing. I'm actually kind of okay with that because now we can send Jordan for an autopsy dead, waiting for morgue bed. You know what that says to me, Jordan? $1,100. I'm sorry, Jordan, if I appear a little mercenary around the old awesome healthy clinic for people who have boo-boos, and boy, do you have a boo-boo. You've got a massive head wound there. But here's the thing. Pathology's sitting up there doing nothing. We get you up on the ice, and we slice you open. That's 1100 bucks. We can probably take the fruit juice away. I don't think Jordan needs the fruit juice anymore. Yep, here we go. One of my morgue nurses coming in here to grab Jordan. No real reason to uh, be delicate with it. Just lump him on the gurney. Get him up on ice. Oh, I, you know, Jordan, I'm sure your family are very sad at this point. Or at least I assume they are. I don't know if they liked you very much. Um, but what I see here, Jordan is $1,100 that's coming into the Awesome Healthy Clinic for people who have boo-boos and have radically changed their mission statement to include, it's okay if you pass away around here. Yep, Dr. Mark up here in pathology, raring to go. He was hanging out briefly in the solarium, but then he heard there was somebody coming up on the slab here. Jordan, ready to go. Patient, Jordan Robinson. Now, patient is a bit of a loose term, isn't it? Okay, throw, throw Jordan on ice. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, yeah, no, I know we've got a new patient at Pathology. We're very excited about this. This is number two. We actually haven't even cleaned up after the last one. I should probably get a cleaning person for Pathology, but it's just too exciting around here. Where'd the doctor go? Where did you? Oh, you're on break. Dude, we're raring to go in here. There's 1100 bucks in the cold room. Yeah, thank you. Get up and get your job done, please. All right, we got Jordan on the slab here. Again, we've we've kept his socks on, which is, in a way, like, really creepy. I'm not sure why, but it's just disconcerting to me that we're leaving their socks on during autopsy. And we're getting the job done. We're slicing things open. You do a very, very quick autopsy. I don't think Quincy could have done much better. You're checking out what was wrong with Jordan. We know what was wrong. It was a head wound. He got an arrow in his head. You didn't even really need to do this autopsy. It was very, very clear. But hey, you know what? 1100 bucks is 1100 bucks. There we go. Oh, 1925. Oh, hang on. Oh, my goodness. Some autopsies are more profitable than others. I, I don't know if I kind of need to radically restructure my play of Project Hospital. But I'm kind of skewing more towards a serial killer motif, I actively don't want people to survive their experience in the awesome, I'm, I might even have to retract healthy clinic, the awesome clinic for people who have boo-boos and we're actually kind of hoping you don't make it out of here alive. What's your problem? How, how bad are you? Hypertensive retinopathy. Is that fatal? Please say yes. 
Uh, a stroke. Oh, that's definitely fatal. I've heard of one of them. Autopsy's finished. Yes, thank you. Uh, oh, we should send you to a funeral. Yes, I'm sure your loved ones are waiting anxiously for them. Uh, make sure they write me a check for that 1900 before we release the body. Thank you. Ah, Mary, just a shoulder dislocation. That sounds really non-fatal. Oh, is there any way we can mess this up? Like, what, what is the skill of my doctor here? Oh, you're the nurse. Are you a doctor? Ah, you're a specialist. You're probably going to get this done really well. You're actually 100% on orthopedics. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mary will probably survive uh, her operation. Come here. How much are we getting for this? Uh, 2800 Okay, cool. Cool. Now, there will be some who say, but Dave, you don't make nearly as much in autopsy as you do in other things. Yeah, but autopsy is guaranteed money guaranteed money uh you come here what is your problem bacterial gastroenteritis see this is only 300 bucks mary and and mary i don't mean to single you out but you were in the corridor and mary you're taking up a hospital bed for this you just need to get antibiotics from pharmacy my second favorite department now and go home why are you taking up a bed we're rehydrating you Okay, grab a Gatorade on your way out and just leave and give me the 300 bucks. Speaking of money, how are we broadly doing? I mean, we're good for today, but we haven't paid wages yet. How'd we do yesterday? 1400 bucks up. I built a lot of stuff. That was wages. I've, if I didn't have to pay the doctors, this would be a much more profitable operation here. But we're doing okay. We're 1400 up. I could theoretically hire somebody to clean up pathology it's probably for the best because the serial killer challenge may be a thing here in project hospital uh how fatal are you staphylococcal meningitis is that fatal it might be uh membranes covering the spinal cord and brain oh yeah yeah that's that's got to be sending you downtown yeah there's no way you're surviving this tom now wait a minute if i go back into doctor mode could i withhold treatment from people just say no we're not doing anything and they'll be there you know on the floor collapsing with their staphylococcal meningitis going please please my brain and my spine are inflamed and i'll just say no nah, no nah. 11 to 1100 to 2000 bucks to get you autopsied no nah, we're, we're not giving you those antibiotics okay back to work here back to work i've got to deal with the rest of the hospital let's get that cleaning closet up and running for pathology because you know what they deserve it and kill enough people every day they'll pay for themselves too so pathology i would like a cleaning closet in here thank you very much and then i need the things that you need here i'll give you a shelf and i just really like the bucket cart i don't know why i like the bucket cart so much i just like the bucket cart so let's get out of that. Let's go to management. I think just one guy in the daytime will be fine. Who's basically cheap? John, you're in. You're not that efficient or dexterous, but you know what? You can push a mop around. Off you go, Chief. There is a fair amount of blood over in the morgue here. So if you could get in on that, that'd be great. Now, how do I, how do I increase my capacity in the morgue? I could double up on the icebox room. And that would give me, I would assume, four capacity for dead people. I'm saying this like people are going to be dropping like flies. And in fact, that's what I'm hoping for now. But that means we can only process one at a time. I'd have to get another doctor and another morgue room to be able to do two-fisted pathology around here, which I'm very, very excited about. It sounds awkward when you say it out loud, but I'm very excited about it. Okay, let's just back off. We'll see who else dies today. We'll see if... I mean, does everybody need care? Maybe people could kind of sort things out by themselves. Think about some holistic treatments. And Mary's getting a bit of a visit over here with the staphylococcal meningitis. You're getting a visit. So Frank came over to visit you, and you're probably telling him about the sudden deaths that have been occurring, and you're probably in fear for your life. I am, I am confident you are begging your visitor to get you out of this hospital as soon as is humanly possible but he doesn't really understand what you're doing because you're so dizzy and your neck is stiff he just thinks you're talking gibberish so uh mary you're stuck with us for a while i'm really hoping that staphylococcal meningitis is fatal oh oh good news good news the ambulance just showed up that usually means something terrible is happening i should check on the icu like who's all intensively cared for right now really it's empty what about my second one that I put up ages ago? Uh, where did I where did I put that thing? Somewhere over here. Really? Nobody in the ICU. 
Nobody critically in need of care. Hang on, what's your problem? You're getting wheeled around. Obviously something very bad is going, come here, very bad. You've got a chemical burn of the torso. Yeah, that does sound bad. We're giving you burn management. Here's the thing, Joe. Burn management is only 770 bucks. I seem to be getting a minimum of about $1,000 if you die. And can we please get the gift shop worker back in here? This guy is, we missed a sale. We missed a sale. Okay, those balloons are $50 a pop. You, Tom, you are the only one working here. You're in charge of the whole department. Is this because you're only 57% good at selling $50 balloons? You're pretty efficient about it. We missed a sale, Tom. This guy here, Frank, he's leaving. No $50 balloon, no $50 cactus, nothing. All right, we're going to have to have a talk about your future here in the clinic. Oh, oh, Joseph is collapsing. Joseph of the chemical burn. Joseph is collapsing. Okay, I'm just going to see how it all pans out, Joe. I'll code you. I'll code you. I mean, I wouldn't mind if we got the no dead patients thing. I am extremely excited about pathology and the potential profitability thereof. But I'm not not working towards the no dead patients thing. So we are going to code you. We'll see if we can deal with you. We seem to have stabilized you. You've got a lot of hidden symptoms, many of which are pulsing. So that's bad, as I understand it. If you've got pulsing hidden symptoms, that means you are going to keep collapsing until, well, either we figure out what's wrong with you or you end up in pathology. What are we doing? Burn management would be a good idea, as would analgesics. It's just pain relief, but where have you gone now? Where have we put you? Oh, you're over in the ICU. Okay, that's fair. I should have known that by your little icon up here, except I always forget that that's ICU. I always think that's cardiology because it's the little heartbeat blip thing. And we're doing what? Hang on, slow it down a little bit there, Joe. You're confusing me. What are we doing? We're doing an ECG. And what is that exactly? Electrocardiography, recording your heart's electrical activities and a thorax percussion. Oh, we're beating on your chest. That doesn't sound good. We have, however, revealed all of your hidden symptoms with that. Wow. You got a lot going on. The thing is, we already know what's wrong with you. Can we not just send the dude to burn management and call it a day? It's only 770 bucks. Let's get this guy out the door. And what I'm actually hoping for today, though I may be loath to admit it, is a minimum of issues. I'd love to get through today in Project Hospital with just seeing some nice clear books. I mean, I built a little bit upstairs in the cleaning closet, but that's not a big deal. I should probably get another cleaner down here because, you know, trail of blood. You're in. Yeah, John's down here cleaning. Good. You're actually my pathology cleaner. Uh, there's not much to clean in pathology. I'm glad you found something else to do. So, yeah, they'll clean their individual departments. And then if they if those are clean, they'll come down and do anything else they find. And indeed, you've done that. You figured out, hey, there's a big trail of blood on the floor going into the ICU from the ambulance center. So I'm going to go down and clean that. What is your little Spartan thing here? Oh, you are indeed Spartan. All needs are reduced much slower. Wow, you're a pretty good hire, John. I just I just went on you because you were cheap. But you actually seems to be pretty good. Welcome to the awesome healthy clinic, John. Yeah, so one nice clear day of not really any building, nobody needing extra beds, nobody having a flummox, that kind of thing. I'd like to see what our finances actually look like. Where are you running off to? Come here. Come here. Come here. Where are you, uh, where are you dashing off to here? What's your deal? Trauma stabilization. Okay. For Jennifer, I assume. Where, where is Jennifer these days? Oh, yeah. No, Jennifer needs to get coded. She's been shot numerous times and stabbed she's been shot and stabbed several jennifer jennifer when you wake up would you tell me what town we live in because this is insane you've been shot and stabbed numerous times maybe we're not actually sure i feel we should be able to pin it down between gunshot or a stab wound i'm pretty sure i could figure those two things out uh where have we moved you to oh yeah the, the trauma area yeah, we should do that. Um, it is definitely abdominal because she's got a little red splotch on her sprite over here. So we should do... Well, why are we not starting with a physical examination? Surely that would tell us if she's been shot or stabbed at minimum. And then we can figure out the rest of it. I know we should probably get her stabilized first, but, you know, let's kind of get these things queued up here. Jennifer, again, not to be mercenary about this, I'm just trying to see... No, I probably wouldn't know until you actually died. I just wanted to see if I get an idea of how much money I make if we autopsy you. Again, I, I'm certainly broadly hoping for your recovery in a very 
uh, very general sense. You know, that is that is it's on our mission statement. But is there any way I can tell how much I would make from your autopsy? Because it's if it's like two thousand bucks, like the last guy, I'm just saying I could unclick the antihemorrhagics. I could go into doctor mode, Jennifer. Don't don't make me do that. I could go into doctor mode and just start refusing you treatment if you're worth a lot of money. Uh, what do we feel we're going to do? Oh, hang on. You actually are worth quite a bit of money if we get you through surgery. All right, Jennifer, I'm going to dial it back on you and broadly hope, wow, 10K because you got blown up by a grenade, maybe. Maybe. We do love to play catch with hand grenades in, in this town. All right, let's see if we can figure out what's actually wrong with Jennifer. How did she get injured? Yep, Jennifer got blown up. Okay, so we have a little cannon icon here, which is hysterically funny, and a little X on her abdomen. So you indeed were playing catch with hand grenades, and you got blown up. You lost in that game. So we are going to do some really, really pretty expensive surgery to you. Pretty expensive surgery. We've got a pressure bandage on. Can we just get you in now? Specialized department, so I'm assuming that's traumatology. Yeah, can we... Should we... Wait, should we move you to traumatology right now? Because you should probably get, like, your emergency care done first. Uh, yeah, things have happened, and we just paid our wages. That's a big hit, obviously. But we're doing... Not terrible. There is money there. All right, so we're doing emergency things to you. Yep, here comes some more emergency stuff. We're just kind of rifling through the cabinet here. Probably stealing a few things to take home. Hey, I hear you. It's a stressful job. And then we're doing blood transfusions, antihemorrhagics, a bandage, and obviously you are indeed hospitalized. Cool. I'd like to get you over to the surgery, but I don't want to move you to traumatology until, like, I'm reasonably confident you're not going to die because we will make more money curing you than we will killing you. Okay, the staff had the same idea I did, which is we need to move Jennifer to traumatology, and I'm I'm trusting their expertise more than my own, as indeed I would. So we're moving you in here. We're moving you into, like, the ward for traumatology. We're slapping you in a bed next to this guy. Really, we couldn't have picked a less awkward spot. Like, there's ones on the other side of the room that I feel would have been less awkward. Anyway, uh, we're still waiting to do the physical examination, but we, we've got it. She got blown up. And then well, I assume, yeah, we're going to do the surgery. So you're queued up on surgery there. Great. Um, then what, what? Oh, Jane, fine. You got better at things. Uh, Jane, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. How good are you? You're really good, actually. You're 74% on traumatology. That is really good. One of these days, I should actually send one of you to my training center that I built, I don't know, in like episode three and have literally never used. Now, Jennifer started collapsing again with the abdominal ballistic wound here. Are you still over? Yeah, you're still over here. And we have indeed coded you. You're going, oh, you're going into septic shock. Oh, yeah, that's bad. I'm no doctor, but that, that's got to be bad. That can't be good at all. Uh, some, yeah, somebody's racing over to do something to you, stabilize you in some way. Oh, the floor is gross. Oh, wow, no wonder you got septic shock. What? Hang on, hang on, Jennifer, go away. What happened to you? You, Imatep, over here. Oh, Lord, what, what has happened to you? Who are you? I've got to know. Really? Charles, again? We needed to put splints on his legs for a high-voltage burn? Is that correct? Is there a doctor watching this who can tell me, yes, if somebody had a high-voltage burn, we need to put splints on their legs? You got all sorts of IV bags on your bed that are not, like, hooked up to your IV stand. I don't know if those are spares. What? How, how does any of this relate to high-voltage burn? Hang on, hang on, Charles. Charlie. Can I call you Charlie? I feel that I can. Result of electricity passing through the body. Yes, that, that bit I've got. Unlike visible thermal or chemical burns, causes more subdermal damage. Is that the reason for the splints? Where here does it say splints on your legs? Because that ain't antiarrhythmics. I'm telling you that right now. It might be tranquilizers. Maybe we're just kind of keep you down. All right, Charles, I, I don't know what we did to you. I think we've made a horrible error with you. I think somebody just got nuts with the bandages and the splints and all of this. You don't seem happy about it. 
your face is saying, what the heck is going on in this clinic? Uh, what? Employee leveled up. Okay. Oh, is specialization available? Oh, do I just get to pick one? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, what do you do exactly? You're in emergency, and you're just like, uh, come here. Where, where are you? Um, no, go, go. You, you go over here. Where are you going? I would like to specialize you. I'd like to kind of find out what, you, what it is you think you do around here. Are you just sort of a generic doctor? Is this your room? That's not your room. Is this your room? That's not your room. How about this room? Oh, you're just going to the lounge. You're on break. All right. Why don't we specialize in acute medicine or advanced diagnosis? That will give you access to differential diagnosis. I know that. Acute medicine. Specialized procedures for diagnosing and treating critical patients. That sounds good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I think I just assigned you to training for the first time ever. Oh, well, I was getting all obsessed with Charles over here. Somebody moved the ballistic abdominal who's even what's it there. Where did we put here? Oh, God, we've got... Who is doing this? Who is doing this around the clinic? Did you need these? You have a chemical burn of the torso. Okay, so somebody in traumatology is just going nuts with the splints. I don't know why. Uh, you the one that I was... Uh, yeah, there you go. Abdominal ballistic wound. Jennifer, good to see you back. Uh, looks like we have suppressed your septic shop. What is your problem, Patricia? Can't diagnose a patient. Why? It's either cirrhosis or hepatitis, either one of which might be fatal to the best of my knowledge. Uh, why are we not doing things? Transient elastography. Okay. Sonography unit at general surgery. Okay, well, can I just transfer you to general surgery then? Why don't you go there? There you go. Now you can have your thing. Stop whining at me, Patricia. Now, now that it's after midnight, how did we do yesterday? All right, we were profitable. Not much. About 8K. Tiny little bit of building there. Those ambulances are costing me not a small amount of money. And it looks like we made a couple of sales in the gift shop and maybe a couple of vending machine things there. All right, so we are technically profitable. Not a lot, but we're keeping our head above water. That's good. It's just not going to allow me to build very quickly. And these mini quests are starting to become harder and harder to do. Treat 90 patients per day. I don't think we actually get 90 patients per day. So that's going to be tricky unless, as someone said in the comments, I just crack open a new department, and that will obviously be an influx of people who need that department. I'm kind of running out of departments, though. The only thing I've got left is cardiology and infectious diseases. Boy, infectious diseases plus pathology. Oh, the combination of that. I should have thought of that. I didn't know pathology was going to be profitable. I didn't know you made money on that. I was just putting it up because I'm an old golf kid from way back. But no, if I put infectious diseases right up next to pathology, it could just be an assembly line of cadavers. So cardiology is obviously the next step. And we all know how Project Hospital is going to go. I'm going to put up a couple of clinics. That will go for about half a game day. And then people will start whining about needing hospitalization. for. Car Can somebody please clean the traumatology unit? Okay, give me traumatology, please. Who's, where are my cleaning closets around here? All the way down here. Okay, and indeed, I when we did my round of layoffs, I did lay off a bunch of cleaning staff, but clearly we need somebody here at night in traumatology cleaning. Uh, Susan, no, you're too expensive. Peter, Peter, I've done well hiring the cheap guys, so I'm going to hire you. If you could really just go over and get that ward done, I mean, that is disgusting. The nice lady had septic shock probably because of the dirty floors. Oh, Jennifer's back in play. What is your problem today, Jennifer? I know you've got three hidden symptoms that are throbbing. All right, um, well, somebody, you've already been coded, so really you didn't even need to tell me about this, did you, Jennifer? You're already being attended to. Ah, oh, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. I could not be more sad and more happy at the same time. One autopsy, please. You're gonna have to hang tight, though, Jennifer. I've only got a day crew for pathology because we don't I mean you're not going anywhere it's not like we're in a rush how long do we reckon before the authorities start investigating the awesome healthy clinic for people who have boo-boos because people come in and they don't come out I know there's a new patient you actually you don't need to tell me that I know I can go into settings and 
kind of chill out how often this is being told to me, but I don't want to miss anything important. Yeah, I'm aware of that. So medical board, law enforcement, how long before people start figuring out people go into the Awesome Healthy Clinic, they don't actually come out, and yet the Awesome Healthy Clinic is making money. I don't know... I don't know what our time frame is before we get raided, but I want to get Jennifer sliced open in the meantime. Now, I know, I know, we could have got 7100 bucks from her if we'd fixed her, but the chances of that were really slim. We, we're just not very good at that. People are going to die around here. It's just a fact of life. There's no reason we can't make a little money. Yeah, see, pathology doctor. Oh, uh, Dr. Mark, you're right in here. First thing in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, and Jennifer is on the slab ready for you. All right, we've checked her out. We've figured out that she got blown up by a hand grenade. No surprise to anyone. Cleaning crew will have something to do. Can we get a price tag on this? $35.50. Thir Nobody is leaving this clinic alive. $35.50. That's over half of what we would have got if we cured her, and that would have sucked up resources. Is there a way... Okay, I'm probably overthinking this. I often do. Is there a way I can just basically get people to come in and not treat them? Could I just get a host of people? Like, we get about 70-some-odd people a day. Can I get them all to come in, shut down every department, leave them stranded here to die on the floor? I'm probably overthinking this, but I'm very, very excited. We just got 3500 bucks. Oh, I should send you to your loved ones. Yeah, off you go. You know what, Dr. Mark? You enjoy that game of solitaire that you just had there. You, above all others, deserve it. I wonder... Okay. I'm going to have to start keeping a slightly better track on things. I wonder if what we get in pathology is based on either the doctor's skill level. I, d I can't imagine you're going up that quickly. You've only done three autopsies. Or is it based on what was wrong with them in the first place? Because she was worth about, I should have checked the others. She was worth about 7000 7, and we got about 3500 from her. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that and figure out how we're making that money. Where is that number coming from? And you can see at this point, the administrative department of the Awesome Healthy Clinic has completely blown off any mission statement about prolongation of life. I know it's, we said it was broadly on the list. Now we simply don't care. We're going to find the most profitable people to kill off and reap the rewards. Joe, how's the chemical burn treating you, kid? You feeling, uh, feeling woozy? Feeling like, uh, you might want to walk into the light at all? Just let go, Joseph. Just let go, man. It's cool. It, it's all fine. Just don't, don't even bother. It's okay. Because we don't actually make that much from you if we cure you. Uh, apparently we're going to go and try and cure you. Yeah, I think we're moving you over to burn management. All right, well, you know what? I guess you'll pay for somebody's wages. The ambulance is here, though. That usually means something critical. Now let me check in on everyone else. What's going on down here? Oh, you could have a lot of things, but you've got tennis elbow. All right, you know what? 490 bucks. I'll take it. Proliferation therapy. What does that do for a living? Injection-based therapy for chronic musculoskeletal conditions makes the specific cells grow and proliferate more rapidly. Well, that sounds cool. Do you need tennis elbow to get that? I kind of like to have that right now. Uh, Casey, Casey, how terminal are you? Oh, please say a lot. Uh, I will technically code you. Yeah, you got a lot going on, man. You seem, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm reading, reading words here. I'm seeing cardio. I'm seeing arteritis thingies, veins. You seem like you're more of a cardiology cat. Is that, is that what you're looking for? A cardiology department? I don't know. We'll kind of we'll kind of see how this goes. I'm I'm coding you. We'll broadly try to deal with your nonsense. We're only interviewing you. Somebody is racing off though. I I see someone racing off. I'm sure they're either racing off to deal with Casey or they're going to the break room. Uh, what's your problem over here? ASOM, right? Acute suppurative otitis. Yeah, I'm glad we abbreviated that. Very painful infection of the middle ear, and it was indeed that. Two hundred bucks for some antibiotics, and you'll probably pay us more when you go through pharmacy as well. All right, I've got to think about cardiology at this point because I need more warm bodies in here with the hope that some of them will turn into cold bodies in here. Um, are you allowed to leave with those bandages, Paul? Because those are kind of hospital property. I'm just saying, are you paying for those on the way out? How much did we... Uh, what are we doing for you? 3800 for a craniotomy. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. 
You were on... Are you leaving? So we've done your craniotomy. Okay, so here's the thing, Paul. Obviously, we got your money. Could you? Because you seem like you're not in good shape. All right? You're still getting analgesics and stomach stomach things. I don't know. And your head is all bandaged up. I'd like to get those bandages back if we could. We can recycle those. If you wanted to collapse on your way out and die, we could get even more money out of you. All right. If I were to do cardiology, obviously I'd have to do it upstairs. I could start it. Huh. I've got this little weird dead space over here. I could run a small corridor around here. I bet I could get two doctor's offices in there. Start with two clinics like I usually do. And then obviously, again, they're going to start whining about needing hospitalization. So I'm going to have to come up with some money for that. While I'm thinking about that, give me my grand unified wall theory around here. That and come here. That. It's all got to match. Even if it's ugly, it's got to match. That's okay, looking better. Back to work. So I could put a couple of clinics over here. I don't need to, but it's a decent enough spot for them. Or I could start to move that nonsense over here. My god, this hospital is huge now. This is just huge. I'd like to kind of flesh out this space too. And I gotta think where infectious diseases is gonna go. I'd like it to be as far away from literally everything else as I can. Can I dedicate elevators? Because that would be a thing. If I could say, like, this elevator is for infectious diseases only, and this whole area could kind of be quarantined off. I bet I can't do that. I don't think you can dedicate ele elevators to anything. Nice if I could. That would make a lot of sense. Probably something they do in, like, a real hospital, too. Oh, my God. What is going on with the floor over here? I got to get more cleaning crews. Um, who are you again? Okay, you're neurology. All right, fair enough. Do I even have a cleaning closet for neurology? I, I might not. I might have kind of skipped that bit. I believe I kind of skipped that bit. Okay, well, with the money we're making in cadavers, I think we can probably afford a cleaning closet specifically for neurology. Where do I... Where do I... Oh, Grand Unified Wall Theory. Where do I think that might like to live. And I should probably, while I'm actually thinking of that, designate a few of these corridors as neurology, just so they'll, you know, be very, very attentive to that. So you know what this, oh, I gotta do the walls over there. This whole thing can be a neurology corridor, and so can this, and all of this area is, actually these are waiting rooms and whatnots. Anyway, I'll put this like this, just so somebody is dedicated to cleaning it. Oh, there's a good little spot right on the end here. Perfect little spot for a cleaning closet. Let me do different walls for that. How about yeah, something in a tile? I think something in a tile for the cleaning closet. I got to do the walls on the outside. Oh, all right. Let's get this like this and then these guys like this. Okay, not ideal, but there it is. And finish that bit there. It's going to make me nuts. Door. Just a simple white door right in there. And then back to neurology. You need to be a cleaning closet. And then obviously you need some things. Just a shelf. And if I can possibly squeeze it in, the bucket cart. And I can possibly squeeze it in. Let's just get one guy in for right now. Uh, Chris. Yeah, wow, Chris, you're dirt cheap. Actually, Joe, you're even cheaper. Wow, yeah, well, you're definitely in. All you gotta do is push a mop, man. It can't be that hard. And I do understand that Joseph has to transverse the roof to get over here, because I built no corridors here. So, a um, little bit of an adventure. You know what? Here's here's what I'm gonna do for you, man. Hang on. I will, I will fix that. I'm actually gonna leave that door there, but I will put in a door on the other side, because it kind of makes sense. That's actually a pretty reasonably efficient thing to be doing, surprisingly enough for me. Now they can get right the way through. When this is built up, they can still go from one side to the other. Okay, yeah. Sorry about you having to walk across the roof, man, but you're doing great. Jessica, what's your problem? You've got, like, the fish thing. Uh, hang on. I think I need to keep an eye on my guy here, because he... He actually has no way to access this part of the building. Where do you think you're going? You're going to an elevator in the middle of nowhere. I'm so sorry, man. I didn't really plan that out. You had to walk halfway across the roof because there's actually no access from your cleaning closet. There is now. When you come back, there will be. Uh, you have IBS. 
Why are you collapsing about this? Go have a code. And you're dehydrated. Again, grab some fruit juice or something. It's $50, by the way. It's $50 for the fruit juice. And just tidy up this cleaning closet with a floor in there. I should probably just remove this door for right now. Otherwise, he's going to keep doing that. Yeah, I think... You know what? He'll figure it out. He seems like a, a smart young kid. He'll figure it out. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Project Hospital for today. I think next time, with the money being stable, if not amazing, we open up cardiology. And then see how many patients we're going to get in for that. I'd love to tick off that 90 patients per day. It's a bit of a stretch, but I think we could probably handle it. So we'll start out, as we do in any new department, we'll do a couple of clinics, and then, oh, you figured it out, man. Oh, good for you, dude. You actually went all the way down in that elevator, walked across, and then came all the way up in this elevator because I was a bit silly with the door. You know what? Good on you. Have an early break on me. Take an extra 10 at your break. It's totally chill, man. Uh, so we'll open up cardiology, see how that goes, wait until they start whining about needing hospitalization, which they will, and then, then see how we go from there. We'll figure it out from there. We'll see what kind of money that brings in. See how many people might want to, you know, die here at the Awesome Healthy Clinic for people who have boo-boos and really aren't that concerned about prolongation of life. Guys, we'll do some more Project Hospital again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, right, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire. Uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.